to back mac cooking and today we're going to be making dry ice ice cream what you're going to need is brown sugar because i like the caramely taste its solubility is a little low in milk and cream but it's worth it also vanilla because it really enhances any ice cream base uh, next heavy whipping cream for the high fat content that'll increase the smoothness of the ice cream and also some milk. Uh, I don't really look at what percent it is, I, I just drink it. <laughs> Finally, cocoa because I'm gonna try to make chocolate ice cream. And let's go get the dry ice. Here's the dry ice. It's in a two and a half pound block and I'm gonna break it up and maybe even powderize it and then add it to our mixture. The first thing I like to do is add equal volumes of heavy whipping cream and milk. For this time, I'm going to be using three quarters of a cup of cream and three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. Now let's add tablespoon by tablespoon of the cocoa powder. All right, now I'm going to heat it up to dissolve the rest of the chocolate. Smash it a few times to make some powdered or chunky dry ice. Alright, now that I've finished smashing it to some powder, let's add it to this Pyrex measuring cup. Alright, let's add the dry ice. is that the dry ice is absorbing the heat from the chocolate ice cream base. And what that's doing is lowering the temperature of the ice cream base. Well, it's nice and foamy, airy, light. Here's the final product, and since it was frozen so quickly and not in a freezer, the ice crystals in the ice cream are actually really small, making it smooth. And also, since we froze it with solid carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide dissolved into the water that was in the milk and the cream and made carbonic acid, so it's also fizzy, but not dangerous. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and show you guys what it looks like when it's actually pretty. 